What's up squad? It's your girl D and I am back with another video and today's video I'm bringing you this little number right here. So yes, it is a wig review. Yes, so I just, if you have not checked out my first wig review, then you need to go ahead and check it out. Yeah, I'm trying to get these videos out. But yes, uh, so this little number right here, I'm going to just go ahead and get the stock card. Um, this little number is the Cloud Nine Swiss Lace Wig, and it is in the... Um, the style Morgan and the color Burgundy Wine. And I guess this is, um, it's not a new collection, but it's their collection of, I guess, what lace. And supposedly it's supposed to be a more natural hairline for the synthetic wigs. And one thing that I will say, I do love the Swiss lace of this wig. Because, you know, with most synthetic wigs, they have that really hard lace. Whereas this is that, um, it actually feels like a real wig. So I really like that. First off, I will say that this is kind of like stepping out of the box for me. I do have a blonde wig, but I've only worn that once because it just, I don't know, it didn't look too right for me. So this is kind of like stepping out of my box because I, I've never really had like a full colored wig. And I really wanted to try it. And I just, I guess I never thought how it would look on my skin tone, but I was just like, you know what, let me just go ahead and try it. It was really reasonable, it was affordable, so I was just like, let's do it. Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to talk too much right now, but I am going to show you a clip of pretty much how I manipulated the wig to fit my head, and then I'll be back to let you all know more on what I think about the wig, so... Here we go. Uh -huh. Tell me how many times I have to tell you I love you. Mm -hmm. Tell me how many times I have to show you I care. Just to hold you in my arms 90 days I haven't seen you We haven't spoken in a while I keep counting seconds I'm away from you And who are you wasting that time with? Stuck in this position The mistakes that I made Pushed you away And I can't hardly sleep So used to you laying next to me you tell me you're done I don't think it's all The love we share is just too much there to let go And it hurts to know that You don't want to be together anymore So the pain just grows inside Thought it would be forever you and me I guess time changes Hang around new faces The worst part is how we ended Not only your love, but I lost the friendship we had It's not the same anymore I'm falling apart Got the puzzle to my heart You're the piece that completes me I 
Okay, so you all, as you saw in the clip, what I pretty much did is I took my got to be glue and I just made me some baby hair in the front of the wig and I don't know if you all could see in the clip, but what I pretty much did because I was saying that the, I don't believe that the wig is really big head friendly is, so what I did was around the front where you can, um, where it's visible at, I just took my the hair from the wig and I just swooped it to match my hairline because my hairline is just not straight you know I got some little curves and stuff in my hairline so I just pretty much made my baby hairs to go along with my hairline because if I would have cut it along the wig then it it, it wouldn't have been right like it just would have looked crazy because of the, how the wig is the hairline is pretty like sh just straight it doesn't have too many cur um, curves in it to match a real natural hairline but I do like the look of this wig's hairline it just doesn't fit my head so I pretty much had to manipulate it so, and again as I said right here if I do wear this out I would have to glue this part down the ends by my ear because like I said my hairline protrudes out from the wigs hairline another thing and if you saw in the clip was I was trying to pretty much flat earn this part so where because it kept falling in my face and I wanted to be kind of like pushed back like this so it could have kind of like a little a little hump to it so that didn't work <laughs> because this hair does not hold a curl I got my flat irons and it was not curling with that so I was just like maybe it's the flat irons maybe it's just you know because they're flat and I'm still trying to curl it maybe it's just not taken to the hair so I went ahead and got my curling irons and I tried to curl the hair but as you can see I have no curl so I will say that this hair does not hold a curl at all all so pretty much what you see is pretty much what you, what you're gonna be getting I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or whatever but this hair does not hold a curl whatsoever so what I had to do up here was I pretty much had to get my got to be glue and I had to use my toothbrush and kind of like um kind of like I'm spiking it up but not too much. So I, that's what I have right here. I didn't want to lay it down. I wanted it to be up. So I kind of just brush the got to be the got to be the got to be glue up on um, the hair right here, so that it'll you know it'll stay up that way and it won't keep falling in my face. So yeah, even though I love this wig, well I like this wig a lot. It does not hold a curl. I really. That's one thing that I really don't like. I don't know if you all can see right here. But it says that um, pretty much curling iron safe up to 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So when it says that, in my mind that, you know, this hair can take heat. Meaning that it can take a curl or whatever you decide to do with it. But as I said... It didn't work for me. Maybe I didn't have them up too high or I don't know. Maybe I didn't hold it on there long enough. I'll try again. But for right now, it does not hold a curl. Okay, so one was the hairline of the wig that, you know, it wasn't, it didn't go. I guess I wasn't able to pull it down to my hairline it was more of a straight hairline it didn't even though the it has like a natural looking hairline it's more of a straight natural hairline so that's one thing that I did not like about it another thing is that it was not it's not big head friendly and because when I did try to pull the lace hairline or the wigs hairline above my hairline to where it looks more natural it came up in the back so yeah it wasn't it's not big head friendly because I know I have a big head and I tried to pull it down above um above my hairline and it was not working uh three is that even though uh I combed it out out of the package and it was tangled a little bit it did straighten out, but as I was playing with it, 
you know while i was on camera with you all it does tangle up a little bit so i feel like i would have to keep a comb or a paddle brush on me so that you know i could keep constantly combing it out so that's three and then the last thing is that it's um it doesn't hold a curl so pretty much i'm not sure if i can like later on try to do something or work with it to see if i can get a curl in there but this natural um this i guess this natural little bump that it already has to it i feel like that's pretty much how, how i'm gonna work be um how i'm gonna have to wear my hair unless like i put it up in like a ponytail or like a ponytail up here and then the rest down so yeah those are like the cons of it of the wig that i don't like on the flip side what i do like about the wig um is the lace of the wig that it's not that hard lace that synthetic wigs usually come with it is more it's the swiss lace and it's you know really soft to where it feels more like a natural wig um two is the color of this wig i'm really loving the color that it has like the the, it's the burgundy color with kind of like a hint of like black little streaks through it. I don't know if you it comes on camera, but um, I could tell like in person. I'm really loving the the color of it. Three is that I although it does tangle, I do love the quality of the wig itself, so to speak. Uh, and what I mean by that is it does not look shiny. It feels more like kind of like a yakky straight texture hair so that it looks more natural than what it is. So I do love that about it, the um, kind of the texture of it and it, look, it does look more natural rather than synthetic. And another thing that I like about the wig is uh, although it does not hold a curl, I do like the natural bump so that if i do if this is the only way that i can wear it i'm okay with it because it still has kind of like the curl right here and then like i could still kind of like manipulate it right here to where it you know it gives the illusion that it has some type of bump to it so i do i will say i do like the natural bump that it already has but yeah so um this is this wig oh I guess I got to tell you all where I got the wig from. I did purchase this wig with my own money. It is from Elevate Styles. And uh, I'm not sure. I can't even think of how much I paid for. But it was like, I think it was under $30. I want to say it was under $30. It might have been under $20. I'm not too sure. I will lay, leave the link down below to this wig. So if you all want to check it out. But yeah. Uh, you know, I, I will say I'm I'm liking this wig. It probably will have to grow on me with the shedding and everything. And once I like really wear it and kind of like get into it, I'm gonna have to manipulate it a little bit more. I think it'll I'll love it. Right now, I really really like it. I don't love it just yet, but I do really really like it. So probably once I figure this wig out, what I need to do to it then I'll probably more than likely love this wig. But yeah, I think, you know, for right now, you know, I'm, you know, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So yeah. Hmm. But anyway. <laughs> All right, you all, that's all I have on this wig. And again, this is the Cloud 9 Swiss Lace wig in the style Morgan and the color Burgundy Wine. And it is also the, I guess the subcategory of Cloud 9 is the What Lace. So, yes. So, you all, that concludes this review of this wig. If you all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below if you have this wig, if you plan on purchasing this wig, if you have a wig similar. And, you know, give me some suggestions on, okay, well, if you don't like this about this wig, I got this wig over here. You know, go ahead and comment down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. You will not. You will not, I guarantee you will not 
be disappointed and just go ahead and let me know what you all would like to see but yes that is this miss morgan here honey yes you know she growing on me she growing on me y'all she growing on me again this is from elevate styles i will leave the link down below in the description box um oh yeah you all um i did if you all can tell i did do my nails and i went with this color this um neon green color or is this green yeah i guess like the neon green color so yeah uh, i did use tips this time i did not use the forms so with that being said if you all want me to do a video on how i do my nails then comment down below go ahead and like this video as well and i will definitely do a video on how i do my nails whether you all want it with tips or um the nail forms i can do both i usually do the nail forms but as i said these are the tips and also for this makeup look if you all like this makeup look there is a video if it's not out already it will be coming out so just go ahead and um look out for that video if it's not already put up because i did record um i did record for the this um this makeup look <laughs> can't get it out but anyway y'all i feel like i've been talking so much um and my words kind of been jumbled up because i'm kind of like rushing to do this video but anyway yes that concludes this video y'all go ahead subscribe like comment down below and i will see you in my next video Deuces.